President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the 16th President of the Philippines, is set to deliver his first State of the Nation address. Despite his accomplishments as a local executive of Davao City, Duterte has drawn criticisms from various sectors for being a tough-talking official with his anti-clerical views and alleged involvement in human rights violations and extrajudicial killings. But after assuming the presidency, what do the Filipinos really expect from the president? Of the 40 million voters who exercised the right to suffrage on May 9, 2016, 16,601,997 believed in the man who was promised a changed Philippines. The man, a former fiscal prosecutor, a former vice mayor, former House member and a local executive before he ran for the presidency had an insurmountable lead that even top rivals conceded defeat. The man bears the name Rodrigo Duterte, which many deem is synonymous to change. The situation of the country and its citizens has been a long-standing issue, which is why when Duterte hinted his intent to run for the presidential elections, several calls from different people from all walks of life bombarded him. Duterte was quoted in 2015 in a Baguio Federalism Forum that he will only run for president if it is meant to save the republic. But before the formal pronouncement of his presidential bid on November 21, 2015, series of calls urging him to run and several other negotiations transpired. For former Interior and Local Government Chief Rafael Alunan III, he has nothing to say but commendation for Duterte's vision for the Philippines. We have a president that has a vision for the country. I think he'll articulate on that vision and the steps needed to be able to move towards that vision. Duterte's works and achievements speak alone for him. It can be noted at Davao City, where Duterte has served as local executive for over two decades, was once considered the murder capital of the Philippines, but has transformed into a model city of peace and order for its strict rules. Duterte aimed to do the same for the whole country. I recall uh, he repeatedly said during the campaign, Binabati ko sa ko for my bad language, but I promise you when I become president, I will give you a good, gov good and clean government. So I expect that from him and so far he's uh, started out on the right foot. House of Representatives Secretary General Marilyn Barua Yap meantime said the Duterte leadership has surely prepared a comprehensive plan for the country for the next six years, knowing that the president has taken a grasp of what was on the ground. I, I feel it's going to be very interesting. It's a change from the previous. From the day Duterte assumed the presidency on June 30, the new chief executive of the country gained a number of accomplishments from the appointments of cabinet members, issuance of the first executive order, putting things in the government in perspective, and resolving one of the main problems of the country, illegal drugs. Former Magdalor Representative Ashley Acedillo praised the administration of Duterte for its intensified fight against illegal drugs. Although I was a, a, no, no, uh, a, um, an ally of the previous administration, objectively, yung laban uh, uh, sa droga uh, did not take on this much prominence or priority. Administration. However, Acedillo said what the public should watch for in this administration are the accomplishments and the fulfillment of promises for the first three to six months. Meanwhile, Public Attorney's Office or POW Chief Attorney Persida Acosta lauded President Duterte for the initial plans of his administration, most especially in drug elimination. The expectation Pilipino ay yung magandang Pilipinas, magandang bukas, na ikaw ay ligtas laban sa mga kriminal, at ang magahari ay ang batas, magahari ay ang pag-ibig sa Diyos. For some, Duterte's election in the highest position in the land is the way to save the Filipino people from all the miseries of life. 
The people's clamor for Duterte to put into action the kind of governance he implemented in Davao City served as proof that people are fed up with the kind of government the Philippines has in terms of the problems that should and could be resolved with a strong governance. Sana kagaya sa amin, inaasahan namin magkaroon kami ng trabaho o kaya kung hindi man kami makahanap ng trabaho dito, walang tumulong sa amin, gusto sana namin na pakawi lang muna kami sa lugar namin. Sana matupad yung mga pinangako niya sa mga tao. Dagdag sahod sa mga kuwan, mga, traba, mga trabador, mga yung minimum wage nila, diba? dadagdagan daw. Sana maging maayos ng buhay namin. Hindi naninanako ang paninda, winawasak, tindatrato na parang basura. Sana maging patas na. Despite the criticisms thrown against the president, the public's trust on Duterte remains high. The public has spoken. The 16 million Filipino people have chosen the leader they want to stand for the country with the hope that every problem will be heard and solved and that the promised change will really come for the Philippines. For SONA 2016 Special Report, Rosa de la Cruz.